When power is generated, it is measured in megavolt amps, or MVA. MVA is made up of two components, megawatts, otherwise known as real power, and megavars, or reactive power. In an ideal power system, the power required by the end users, the megawatts, makes up 100% of the generated power. Little to no reactive power is required in the system. In the real world, however, inductive devices such as motors and transformers exist on the system. These devices consume reactive power. The power utility must generate reactive power and send it to the end user. This consumes valuable limited transmission capacity, lowers the transmission voltage profile, and reduces efficiency significantly, increasing generation and transmission costs. Fixed capacitor banks can supply the reactive power needs of the load devices and reduce the load on the generators. However, a dynamic device is needed to rapidly respond to the ever-changing conditions of the transmission network. A static synchronous compensator, or STATCOM, is a reactive power source that uses complex control systems and IGBT switches to dynamically control reactive power output. STATCOMs can significantly boost the stability and reliability of the power transmission network by continuously regulating the voltage on the transmission line. This results in a power transmission superhighway capable of transmitting much greater amounts of real power over the same infrastructure. When a disturbance occurs, such as a power system fault, the STATCOM reacts rapidly by increasing output. This improves the real power transmitted to the consumer, thus minimizing the effects of the fault. Once the fault is cleared, load reactive devices simultaneously come back online and cause significant voltage sag. The STATCOM again responds rapidly, dynamically supplying the necessary reactive power to boost voltage and prevent undervoltage conditions or complete loss of power. With STATCOM systems, Grid operators gain fast, accurate control of the reactive power network, all with minimal infrastructure investment and low environmental impact. A modern STATCOM is a shunt-connected device that is comprised of an IGBT-based voltage source converter, connected to the transmission grid via series-connected phase reactors, and a step-up power transformer. A STATCOM can act as an inductive device, absorbing reactive power from the grid, or a capacitive device, producing reactive power to the grid. The basic operating principle of a STATCOM is that it produces a voltage waveform in sync with the transmission system voltage. When in the inductive mode, the voltage waveform generated by the STATCOM is smaller in magnitude than the grid voltage, thereby absorbing inductive reactive power from the network. When in the capacitive mode, the voltage waveform generated by the STATCOM is larger in magnitude than the grid voltage, thereby generating reactive power to the grid. So how does the STATCOM generate these waveforms that control the reactive power output? The basic building block of the STATCOM is the valve submodule. Each submodule consists of a pre-charged DC capacitor, a high-speed switch, and electronic boards for protection and communications. Typically, there are five to eight submodules stacked together to form one valve module. Several modules connected together form a complete valve for one phase of the STATCOM. These are generally stacked three high to form a three-phase system. The high-speed switch that is in each submodule is actually a set of four power electronic devices called insulated gate bipolar transistors, or IGBTs. These four IGBTs are arranged and operated in a configuration that produces a positive, negative, bypassed, or blocked state. Starting in the blocked state, the submodule output voltage is zero. Turning on IGBTs one and four results in a positive output from the submodule, creating a positive step in the waveform. Turning on one and three or two and four, the submodule is bypassed and our output returns to zero. Turning on IGBTs 2 and 3 results in a negative output from the submodule and a negative step in the waveform. Adding more submodules in what is called a modular multi level converter configuration, we can generate a smoother sinusoidal waveform of the desired amplitude. 
To achieve this, the control system sequentially turns on each submodule to sinusoidally grow the total voltage of the converter in the positive half cycle until the peak. It then turns them all back off sequentially to bring the waveform back to zero. The control system then changes the IGBT configuration to generate the negative half cycle and turns on each submodule sequentially as before until the required negative amplitude is reached and then turns those all back off again. One full sequence produces one complete cycle of a sinusoidal voltage waveform. By adding even more modules, we are able to achieve a smoother waveform closely matching the system. Stacking the modules three high, we can now produce a complete waveform for each phase of the three-phase system. The sophistication of the STATCOM is that it is continually monitoring the always changing system voltage to maintain its output relative to the changing input. Simultaneously, the STATCOM is rapidly providing either inductive compensation or capacitive compensation when required by the system. This complete process allows total control over system compensation and helps to maintain grid stability and boost efficiency.